FM.com. News from the street, 919FM.com. Here's what's happening. Good afternoon. I am Vanessa Thomas with the 12 o'clock news on the streets, 919 FM, and online Facebook and YouTube, sponsored by the Sea Champion. In the headlines, 10 more COVID deaths and 558 new cases recorded. Police officer killed in vehicle crash. People continue to be arrested for breaking curfew under state of emergency. And internationally, the World Health Organization says COVID death toll might be higher than reported. And now the news in detail. The Ministry of Health recorded 10 more deaths and 558 new COVID cases yesterday. The death toll has risen to 341 and there are 6,998 active cases. In its 4 p.m. update Thursday, the ministry said 5,887 patients are at home in self-isolation, 412 patients in hospital, and 141 people in step-down facilities waiting to be discharged. There are 324 people in state quarantine. The country has had 18,227 cases since its first case on March 12, 2020 of this 10,888 people have recovered. Trinidad and Tobago began its vaccination program on April 6th, and since then, 61,806 people have been vaccinated. The ministry said 1,179 people have been fully vaccinated. A police officer was killed on the Solomon Hochoy Highway near the Brian Lauer Stadium last night. Reports state that Officer Kent Neptune was in his private car heading south when he crashed and the vehicle overturned several times. Neptune was thrown from the vehicle and died on the highway. Investigations are ongoing as to ascertain what caused the crash. 93 people have been arrested in the first four days of the country's state of emergency that was implemented uh, four days ago. They were arrested throughout the nine police divisions. 18 people were arrested on day four for breach of curfew. However, day one saw the lowest number of arrests with six. Day two saw 19, while day three of the SOE recorded the highest number of arrests for curfew breaches with 50. Meanwhile, according to statistics re released by the TNT Police Service on Thursday, 84 people were arrested for either wearing their face mask below their nose or for not wearing it at all. This brings the total count of face mask tickets issued to date to 10,688. Internationally, the World Health Organization has stated that the number of people who died from direct and indirect effects of the COVID pandemic might be at least two to three times higher than officially reported. WHO said as of Friday, more than 3.4 million deaths worldwide have officially been attributed to the disease since it first surfaced in China in late 2019, but the figure may actually be between 6 and 8 million people. The discrepancy in figures is said to be due to several factors, including lagging reports on COVID-19 deaths in a number of countries, the fact that many people early on died of the disease without being tested, and also that many were unable to get the treatment for other other disease and conditions locked down. And that was the 12 o'clock news on the street, 919 FM, and online Facebook and YouTube, sponsored by the Sea Champion, recapping the headlines. 10 more COVID deaths and 558 new cases recorded. Police officer killed in vehicle crash. People continue to be arrested for breaking curfew under state of emergency. And internationally, the World Health Organization says COVID death toll might be higher than reported. Do enjoy your afternoon. I am Vanessa Thoma.